My name's Tara. I'm from North Carolina, but I've been living in England for over 30 years. Um, I noticed 10 years ago, that's when my symptoms started. Mainly, it was my hair. It just came out after um, a holiday in St. Lucia, I came back and my hairline had just it, it really moved down. I could visibly see where my hair was gone. And I was working at that time and I had to wear hair, hair scar head scarves for a good six years or maybe more, off and on, but mainly on. And people would comment about it and I, at that time, or during that period, I had seen three um, consultants in three different countries and pretty much with the same outcome, all saying that um, there was nothing wrong with me, that it was really in my head. I have known Tara, who's here for Lyme's disease, for several years now playing golf with her. But this summer I discovered how ill she was and had been for 10 years and how difficult it was for her to find anyone who would listen to her and believe her and help her. So I have lived with Tara since then, uh, last summer. This is now February. And during that time, we have made enormous progress. I didn't have a lot of other symptoms at that time. The, the other, I suppose, main one, main one was uh, insomnia. I would stay up 48 hours to 72 hours on a regular basis. And that, that went on for several years as well. Um, I just looked at that as having lots of energy. And at that time I was still working, as I said, and doing other things. And <clears throat> I, didn't, I didn't really see that as a problem. I knew it wasn't right and I never had it before in my life, but I, I just carried on. I researched a, as much as I could about Lyme on the internet. I have always been interested, although I do not understand physics, I've always been interested. In